safeguard for the soul, day number two, concerning the uncertainty of the hour of death. The verdict has been made, I must die, but I do not know when. I may die this very day, this very hour. Number two, and I do not know where I will die. I may die either while I sleep, or while I walk, or where I stand, or any other place. Number three, and I do not know how I will die. I might die while uncorrected in this or that sin. How is it that I still sin with such joy and fearlessness? Remember that question. How is it that I sin with such joy and fearlessness that I shall fall again and again so easily that I do not flee every cause of sin? What kind of faith do I really have? Do you still get frustrated? This is not here in the text, but do you easily get angry? Do you get mad? Do you justify yourself? This question is really pertinent. How is it that I still sin with such joy and fearlessness? Like when I sin, do I really think like, oh, God will just forgive me? Something you need to think about. So here are the suggestions. Be resolved not to lose any time, for time is a great means for you to live virtuously and to arrange the day's tasks. That hour which you lose could very well be the last hour of your life. And that hour which you use well may bring about the eternal salvation of your soul because you will be right with God. So, don't waste any time and make sure that you are filling your mind with the commandments of Jesus. Matthew 5, 6, and 7. Live by them and the rest of the scriptures. And you'll have life. Bye-bye.